Well, for this project, we need the yarn, as I said. Let's find... Well, usually I take it from the center because because it this way it doesn't go around my whole house. Where is it? Here we are. So I found the center and let's take the yarn. Now we need to cast on 33, 33 stitches. Oh, how do you call this in needler in, in knitting? Um, we need 33 loops. Okay, so um, if your yarn is different, you may need another number of um, stitches well it should be a number which is dividable into three okay because eventually we will need three parts to braid it that's why you need some number that is dividable into three I decided to make it 33 so that I can divide it into 11 11 11 you might be using some different number but Remember, it's got to be something dividable into three. Now I will teach you how to cast on. Now you take your yarn. Look, this is your left hand. This is your right hand. If you're right-handed, uh, no problem. If you're left-handed, probably I'm not going to help you here. Well, let's start. So you, we leave a tail. Um, you know, to be on the safe side, please make it rather long. So I would suggest some 70, 80 centimeters. Well. Now, we take the yarn, you put it on your hand, like that, you put your thumb underneath, so once again, you put it on your um, palm, thumb, your index finger, and here we go, like that. And you need to hold the rest of the yarn with the small and this ring finger, like that. This is what you need to have, all right? Now, I take my needle, one of them, not two of them, but one of them. And what do I do next? I put my needle like this, and I form like, um, I don't know, a loop here, look. So once again, I take it like this, I insert it into this loop, and I cast on this yarn and I pull it and I already have two of them here now it will be much easier because you already have this move here done one into this loop and cast on you see where I hold it like that three once again one two, three, one, two, and three. So you kind of working with your thumb here. One, two, three. Look, so you pull it down into the loop, cast on into the same loop like that. You see, and then it will be faster and faster and faster. This is the simplest way to cast on because there are multiple ways of how to do it. Um, Italian, German, uh, European, Western, so on and so on. Well, you, you need different times for different projects. Depends on what project you were making. But for this type of project, we need the simplest type of the initial row, so we just don't forget to count. Well, we need 33, so we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 24, 25, okay, 26, 27, 28. 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33, and we're done, like that. That's it. So we have 33, and we are ready to move on. Well, you turn your work. 
so that both tails are here. So one is the tail, one is actually the yarn that you need. Don't mess them up. So the tail you don't need, you need this one. So I put it on my index finger like that. Well, we all do that differently, right? But this is my way to do it and I'm comfortable with it. So I take the second needle and let's go. What do I do? We need to make, um, we need to make it one on one. So one pearl, one knit, one pearl, one knit and so on. How do we do that? So the first one, we always don't do anything. We just put it into the next chain uh, needle. Don't forget to make it tight here. Now let's go. We need one knit. How do we do that? Insert and you pull the yarn like this. One, one purl. This is how I do this. Well, you might be using, making it differently in the Western type, but this is how I do it. Again, one knit. one pearl one knit one pearl and let's go to mess it up the first row is the most important because after that you, the pattern will be visible and you won't need to count anything pearl knit okay hopefully you see it so pearl knit pearl knit again pearl and so on one on one we're working through knit Pearl, knit, pearl, and knit, and so on, up until the end of the row. And usually the last chain of the row, chain, well, loop, loop, because I'm a crocheter, you know. That's why the terminology of knitting is challenging. Now, um, pearl, then knit. Once again, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit. And the last one is always pearl. Always, 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 always all projects. Here we go. Row number one is done. Look. Well, it's rather sick right now, but don't worry because of the type we're making, it will be thinner so it's fine now you turn your work like that now this is where your uh, yarn is now you take your yarn on your index finger once again the first one we do nothing here we have pearl already that's why we start with pearl and then knit pearl and then knit and so on. Now basically you have to do just the same thing for the next 17 centimeters. 17 centimeters you need to make in the same manner interchanging pearl and knit 17 centimeters. Okay so you need to measure that up and after 17 centimeters you stop and um, I will see you there. So, wish you luck. Just turn on some TV show and let's go. This is what you need. You need knit pearl, knit pearl. That's it for the next 17 centimeters. See you there in the next video. Now, this is the last of the row, the last loop of the row. And even though you had a pearl here, you still need to purl because you always, always just memorize that the last loop is always purl. Okay. Then again, you turn your work, take the needle, the first one, do nothing. And if it's knit, then you need, 
if it's purl then you purl and you move on like that 